Hi folks, Max from Galaxy S to root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install uh, Android 4 for KitKat ROM on the Galaxy S2 GTI 9100. Now, uh, Android 4 for KitKat ROMs are slightly different from regular ICS or Jelly Bean ROMs because they require the latest clock model recovery. Now, the way this phone works is that recovery is part of the kernel, and the kernel is part of the ROM. So every time you flash a new ROM, uh, it's going to come with its own recovery. So depending on what kind of ROM you've installed, uh, you might not have the latest clock from our recovery, which is the case uh, for most customers' ROMs right now. Um, but uh, basically, if you have clock from our recovery 6.0.4.3 or higher, um, then you can use that. Uh, but if you don't have that, uh, let me show you how to do it. Uh, basically, um, go ahead and download the KitKat ROM you're going to install. I'll put it on your phone first. And also, you'll need to download um, CWM-KitKat-compatible-i9100-zip. Uh, put that zip file. I'll have the zip files on my site uh, and also step-by-step -step tutorial. Um, so make sure you have it on your phone. Then turn your phone off. And then go ahead and boot into Clock My Recovery or Tour Recovery, whatever you have, uh, by holding down Volume Up, Center Home, and Power. And of course, you already have to be rooted. Um, and if you're rooted, uh, chances are you already have some kind of uh, custom recovery, such as clock remark recovery or torp recovery. Now, I do have the latest version here, but just for the purposes of showing you, I'm going to show it to you. Uh, but there we go. I've got clock remark 6.0.4.5. Um, so whatever version you have, um, this will update you to this one I have. So go ahead and go to install zip. I'll uh, install zip from uh, SD card 0 or SD card 1. Um, I have it in my SD card, so I'm going to choose SD card 1. And I have it in my download folder. Oh, you know what? Sorry. <clears throat> I must have it. I didn't download it. Uh, let me copy it over real quick. Sorry, that's a mistake on my part. I forgot to copy it into the SD card. Um, and I do also have a tar file uh, for those of you who might not have a recovery. There are times when you can end up with a ROM with no recovery, or maybe you're you know completely stock. Then you can go ahead and grab the tar file. It's the same version as a zip file, but you can flash it with Odin. Uh, so let me actually go ahead and do this. You can see better anyways. There you go. And I'm going to go ahead and install the zip. I'm going to choose SD card 1, that's my SD card. SD card 0 is your internal storage. I'm going to go to my download folder, and there it is, CWM KitKat compatible dash i9100.zip. Now, since this is clock my recovery, but it is also a kernel, uh, it's basically a kernel I pulled from the latest CM 10.2. You can also just flash CM 10.2, but that's going to, you know, um, take a lot, a, a lot longer time. So that's why I only extract the kernel, so you can just uh, install the kernel only. Go ahead and install it. Uh, once you install it, whatever ROM you have on probably is not going to be compatible with this kernel unless you have CM 10.2. Um, so only do this when you're installing a new ROM. And when that is done installing, um, simply go back and go to Advanced and uh, Reboot Recovery. All right. And if you have Twerp or you have the older version of Clock Remote Recovery, um, this will get you on 6.0.4.5 which is compatible and will let you install Android 4.4 custom uh, ROMs. If you try to do it with an uh, older version, you'll get fail messages. There we go. So it looks the same, but uh, it should look different uh, for you guys uh, coming from another ROM. So next is pretty much the same. Um, just do a data wide factory reset, and we're going to install the ROM. Uh, and also Google Apps uh, are required for most Android 4.4 KitKat AOSP ROMs. Um, so we're going to go ahead and install those. And reboot, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and install zip, uh, install zip from SD card 1, and I'm going to be installing CM, 10 point, uh, CM 11 actually. Uh, this is one of the uh, earlier versions, um, but uh, you know it is uh, pretty stable I would say. I'm going to go ahead and install that CM 11 for the GTI 9100. And when this is done, we're going to install Google Apps uh, Reboot, and we should be all good to go. And I'll be back, this is done, this should take another minute or two. And for those of you with uh, AT&T Galaxy S2, I'll also have a version, same versions uh, for Galaxy S2 SGHI 7.7.7. So just grab those files for installing um, the Clock Recovery. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same, exactly the same. 
Um, that is done installing the ROM. Next, I'm going to go ahead. Um, oops, I'm going to go to my SD card one here. And I'm going to go ahead and install the Google Apps uh, for Android 4.4. For Android 4.4, you have to install uh, Android 4.4 compatible uh, Google Apps. Otherwise, uh, it will is, you'll probably get a lot of force closes. Um, you will fail pretty much. Um, or you'll end up in a boot loop. Who knows what can happen. And this should take another minute or two. Um, and also for AT&T Galaxy S2, uh, the it should be coming soon, Android 4.4. And uh, we're just starting to see developers porting the source code. Basically, they're taking the uh, Android open source uh, and they're actually compiling it um, with a new ROM. Um, so it's going to take time. They're going to have to find bugs. I mean, you know, the major bugs with Android 4.4 right now for ported versions is with the camera um, and video replay. But if that works, most of the time everything else is working. Um, so go ahead and go back and reboot system now. And you should be all good to go. And uh, this is how you can install it. Now, if you fail for some reason, if you end up in a boot loop, sometimes it happens to me, one out of 100 flashes, uh, what you can do is repeat this process but before you do data white factory reset before that step go to mounts and storage in clockroom recovery there's an option to format slash system um, format slash system that will erase all the system files uh, whereas regular data wipe it only deletes the data partition whereas the system it will wipe the system and usually that will clear out uh, those boot loops and if that doesn't work um, I usually try it just one more time and if it, it fails twice it usually means something wrong with the ROM uh, or you know it could be another some some other problem uh, maybe you're using the wrong recovery um, but it doesn't usually happen but um, that's my thought analysis when I'm installing ROMs just to let you know anyway I'll be back when this is done um, should be done shortly and boom chakalaka I was able to uh, boot it fully uh, working just fine now anyway um, that's how you can install a KitKat ROM on the Galaxy S2 and should also work on the AT&T Galaxy S2 SG i777 just use the correct recovery I'll have um, different files for the GTI 9100 and also the AT&T SGHI 777. Uh, anyway, if this video has helped you install a KitKat ROM on your Galaxy S2, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxyS2root.com. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, I'll stay on Android.